Welcome back to FM Story. In the last episode, we began season 18 of the save with a move to Crystal Palace. There was very little options available for clubs that were in the Europa League, so we, we jumped at the chance to take over Crystal Palace. Um, League-wise, didn't start particularly brilliant, but as we've said for the last three or four seasons now, the main aim is the Europa League. We've played two games, we've scored 11 goals, we're top of the league phase albeit not against the strongest style of position, but hopefully it's just a sign of what's to come this season. Coming up in this episode, we've got big Europa League games, um, Dino Minsk, but then we've got Besiktas and Braga, which I think are probably two of the toughest games we've got in this league phase this season. So without further ado, let's get into the action. So we're into November, we've got a home game against Besiktas in the Europa League next and since the end of the last episode our league form's continued pretty much as erratically as it has and we've played one game in the Europa League and won that. We ended the last episode with a 7-1 victory against Apoel, we followed that up with a 3-1 loss to the team that were bottom of the Premier League in Aston Villa, we beat Tottenham 1-0, drew 4-4 with Bournemouth lost 2-1 at home against Arsenal, beat Dinamo Minsk 3-1 in the Europa League with Brasco getting another goal, lost 3-2 away at Sunderland to a 95th minute winner having been 2-1 up with 13 minutes left to play. We won another game on penalties in the EFL Cup beating Newcastle in the fourth round. And then in the most recent league game, we beat Fulham 2-0, which saw them sack their manager. So with the victory over uh, Dinamo Minsk in the last Europa League game, we, we go into the next game against Besiktas, still top of the table, three wins from three. Um, Tim Brasco, the, the outstanding player in the Europa League so far, he's got six goals as well. And hopefully we can continue this run with another victory here. So this is the side we've picked for the game against Besiktas. Um, as close to our full strength team as we can get pretty much. Um, we're starting to get players back from injuries and as well. So we're able to fill more of the bench. Right, both teams playing 4-2-3-1. From the kickoff, Castan back to Ampuero. Baino to Benavides. Baino. Good old breaking through from the left. Finds Castan in the box. Fires past the keeper. 17 seconds on the clock. And we've opened the scoring. And what a start to the game that is. Just worked from the back. Gone straight through the middle of the pitch. Good old cutting in. Lovely ball. Takes out over four defenders. Castan takes it in his stride. Fires it across the keeper for 1-0. Right, Besiktas attacking down the right. Force them back to the defenders and then Benavides uh, cuts out the ball and strides forward, still going into Castan, scores. I think he's probably offside. We'll need to get a VAR check on that. And it has been disallowed. We are looking a real threat. Benavides just brings the ball, just takes too long to play the pass. Castan is just ever so slightly offside. Right, Avier with the throw. Brasco infield to Baino. Into Goodall in the box, hits the woodwork. And they bring it clear. Right, the first half, as it's coming towards an end, it's got a bit quiet, but Bassioli with the throw for Sangulo, back to Bassioli. A Drills a cross in. Goodall gets his head on it. That's 2-0. And a nice bit of a cushion before the halftime break. So Angulo back to Bassiolo, who just drills that to the back post. Goodall heads home. 
right, into injury or approaching injury time, throwing for them. Down the line, it's cut out by Bassioli. Into Brasco, who's driving forward. Low cross into the box. Castan scores. Again, I think he might have gone a touch too early. I think he might have been in an offside position when the ball was played. But it's been given since we've jumped straight to a highlight. So Brasco just driving forward. Gets to the corner of the box, squares it. No one anywhere near Castan and a simple finish in the end. He was just on side. From the kickoff, as we go into injury time. Bring the ball through the middle of the pitch. Bassioli wins it back. Goes down the right-hand side, goes past his man. Into the box, pulls it back. Bino scuffs it a bit, but goes into the back of the net. And that's 4-0. And that's three goals since the 43rd minute. So basically in two and a half minutes of, of football, we've got three goals and a real dominant 4-0 uh, lead at this stage. And there we are, that's half-time, 4-0 up. I mean, we've been clinical, eight shots, five on target, four goals. They've had one shot that came back off the woodwork. Um, and hopefully we can just keep up this level of performance in the second half. All right, no changes at half-time. Right, I throw deep in their half. Avier to Brasco, back to Avier. Brasco into the box. It's blocked. Avier goes back to Benavides. Goes across to Ampuero. Bino into the box. Angulo. And the keeper manages to turn it behind. A corner. Ayala Fayado to take. It's flicked on at the near post by Ang and straight into the keeper's hands. Right. Then moving the ball around at the back. In behind on the right hand side. It was just far too easily. I mean, it's a good job with 4 1 up, and it wasn't a lot tighter than that, but it's just far too easy. No one tracked him, and then he's allowed to get to the byline, and it actually goes between the keeper and the near post before it's tapped in. All right, we've brought some fresh legs on to just see the game out. All right, late into injury time, corner to the back post, it's up in the air, Obradovic. Castan gets it. But it went back to Bassioli. He crossed it into Castan. It's been given after a review. So it comes out. Obradovic finds Bassioli, who I think actually hit a shot and it just hit Castan on the way in. And that's 5 1 on full time. Uh, we didn't really test the keeper too much in that second half, but we've come away with a, another comfortable victory. 5-1 at home against Besiktas, which on paper was probably one of the tougher games we had in this um, league phase. Um, and that's four wins from four. We're now approaching the end of November and we've got an away trip to Braga. We've played a couple of league games since that victory against Besiktas. Firstly, a 2-1 defeat against Everton. And that was followed up by a 1-0 victory at home against Man United. Very, very late goal to get the winner. That's not as big a win as you would normally assume because Man United are bottom of the table after 12 games 
They do not have a manager. It is just an interim manager. The job has never become available as far as I can see. Um, so it looks as though that might be some sort of, of bug. Because Sebastian Hornus was sacked in December of 2039. And we're now nearly 12 months later. And it doesn't show him as being an interim manager on any of this. But when you go into their staff, it shows him as interim manager. And like I say, the job's never become available. And it looks like they might be getting relegated. But now, like I say, this away game against Braga. We've won our opening four in the Europa League. Hopefully we can make it five from five. And that'll put us in a strong position to make it into the knockout stages. So this is the side we've picked for the trip to Braga. It's pretty much the same team we've picked for most of the Europa League games, except Hayes is back from injury. So he's come in and Bino's dropped to the bench. Um, but other than that, it's pretty much our European team. Right, Bassioli with a throw for us. Brasco back to Benavides. Ayala Fayado into Brasco. Hayes, good all off the left. In behind for Angulo. And somehow he's not even made the keeper make a save. He's put it wide. Right, they've gone back with the throw. We've allowed him to go a long way with that ball across the pitch. But Bassioli nicks it from the poor pass. Good all in off the left again. Back out to Bassioli. Goes past his man. It comes to Angulo. This time the keeper does have to make a save. And they've cleared it up to the halfway line. Right. Castan into Goodall in the box. Squares it. And there's Ayala Fayado to open the scoring for the night. Put us in front. And based on what we've seen in the highlights so far, it's thoroughly deserved. It's a lovely ball. Goodall tries to square it. It takes a bit of a deflection off the defender. And then Ayala Fayado fires the volley past the keeper. And there we are, half time, 1 0 up. And uh, things are looking pretty pretty good, although we've, we've picked up a couple of knocks. And we're going to need to make a few changes, I think, at half time. Right, so we've made two changes at half time. Balwell and Obradovic on for Brasco and Goodall. They've got a free kick to the back post. And we've basically been caught sleeping at the start of the. Second half. Free kick. Obradovic hadn't got back in. In fact, he won the header. They went back across goal and a simple header for them from close range. Right, Angulo into the near post. It's somehow kept out. Bassioli wins it. Angulo. Ball well onto Obradovic in the box. And it's been blocked and turned behind for a corner. Angulo to take. In swinger on his right foot. In towards the far post. And that's headed wide of that far post. And we're missing a lot of chances here. And they've gone long from a goal kick. Benavides wins the header. Angulo. It's back to Benavides. Angulo now. Bassioli. Ayalo, Fayado back to Benavides. We're just playing about with it here. We're going to get caught, I think, Bassioli. Right, it's only a matter of time before we give the ball away, I think, in this position. Right, Ampuero. Back to Guillem, Benavides. Try to invite them on and risk giving the ball away, but Angulo now turns over the top to Obradovic. Drives into the box. Castan turns it in from close range. I thought that might at least be a VAR check, but it's been given. Angulo eventually gets bored of passing it around at the back, sends a lovely ball out to Obradovic, who drives into the box, gets it in, and a tap in from four or five yards out for Castan to put us back in front. Right, Angulo on the right again. 
Driving forward. Low into the box. Ball well back to Basioli Angulo. Comes back to Basioli Angulo again. He finds the back of the net. That's 3 1, and that should be the three points wrapped up. A bit of dumb, a bit of uh, pinball in the box there, and then eventually he just bends it into that far corner for 3 1. And there we are, full time, 3 1, and we've made it 5 from 5 in the Europa League. And there we are, the end of another episode, and our league form's picked up. We've made it to the quarterfinal of the Carabao Cup, but most importantly, we've won five from five in the opening stages of the Europa League. We've already guaranteed ourselves a spot in the next stage in the knockout round. And now the aim for the next episode is to make sure we finish in that top eight, make sure we've, we qualify for the last 16. So join us next time to see if we can do that. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you then.